Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a brand new video today for today's match preview between Tramway Rivers and Hartlepool United at Prem Park this coming Saturday on the 4th of March 2023 3 o'clock kickoff can Tramway Rivers get another win like we did on Tuesday against Crawley Town I thought the game against Crawley it wasn't the greatest of games but the main thing is we did get the 3 points which is fantastic but I think Tramiros need to play a lot better if we want to win games more than one goal. Obviously, a great goal from Jordan Timble. Obviously, to get the goal in the second half, I thought he'd done really well to get the goal. And yeah, I thought we, I thought we deserved it in the second half. But I thought Crawley were really good in the first half. They were having more chances, they were having more corners, they were creating more chances as well, but it just wasn't speed for them. So, obviously, against Crawley, it could have gone anywhere. It could if, if Crawley did score that penalty, it probably would have been a 1 1 draw or possibly a 1 0 win for Crawley if Trammy didn't score. So going into the game for the Tramways against Hartlepool, um, John Askey is their manager, who is, I think he's who just became their manager, which is a good appointment for them. Hopefully, obviously with Hartlepool, they're, they're won against, um, was it Walsall on Saturday? They were 3-1 down, and to get a 3-3 draw, which was pretty insane, obviously, to get. But the players that they have on on their team is really decent. Obviously, they've got the likes of Connor Jennings. They've got um, a guy called Dolan. They've got a guy called Cook, who was at Bradford, and one of them was at Newport. So, I think I think um, they've got Jamie Sterry, who is their right back. He was another decent player for them, and yeah. I think I think it will be a tough test for Tramway Rovers against uh, Hartlepool. I think Hartlepool are a good side. They've got a good winning mentality. Obviously, they're really decent at home, but away from home, I'm not too sure about them this season. Obviously, their record at the moment is out of our five games. They've drew two. I think they've lost. Uh, they've lost two. They've drew three. So obviously they they like getting draws, but if they can get a win, that'd be fantastic for them. But for Tramway's sake, they need to start winning games more goals than one, which would be fantastic. Especially if we get a two 0 or a three 0 win on Saturday, which will be remarkable, fantastic. But get the game against the lower the lower teams in the league is re the really difficult. Obviously, it obviously shown yesterday when we played Crawley. Crawley were the best side against Trammy, in my opinion. But we need to be as long as we win the game. I don't, I don't care. As long as we win the games, I'm happy. But we need to play a lot better than we have done in the past few weeks. Obviously, we did play uh, Stevenage on Saturday with a winning performance, which was fantastic. In the second half. I thought we were really good, obviously, to get the win, get the penalty from Josh Hawks. And then, obviously, John Timble scores yesterday, which was a great goal for him. And, obviously, uh, Tram Rivers to get back to win ways. Obviously, we're, we've won in the last two games, which is fantastic. Can we make it three wins out of three on Saturday? It'll be really good if we can, but I think it'll be really difficult against a good team in Hollypool. So... Obviously, I'm I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that we can do it, but I think it's going to be a really tricky game against Hartlepool. Obviously, Hartlepool sitting twenty second. I think I think there are a few points um, above twenty um, third. I think I think they've got more points than Crawley, so which is decent for them. Obviously, that they all know they could be possibly staying up in the league two for this season. Um, Tramway over sitting, I think it's 12th, I think, which is decent for them, obviously, but if we can get another win, we could possibly go ninth, depending on the results on Saturday, and then possibly in, 
plus we the game after which is against Gillingham away which I'm going to which I'm really excited for but we need to see see what happens see if we can get in the top seven maybe top eight which would be fantastic but if we can get playoffs this year I, f I think it's been a decent season but we have been the greatest in the games in the last few weeks so we need to build on that we need to be starting scoring goals for fun if we want to be where they are which is top seven which would be fantastic so going into the team I thought Jim if he was decent yesterday I thought he was okay but yeah I think he will be in the goal on Saturday I don't think Q will be in the game Right back, I think it'd be Cogley. Didn't really see much of him yesterday, but um, I thought he'd done okay. Centre backs will be Turnbull and Davis. I thought both of them played really well yesterday, so I'll probably say them in the in the team. I'll say um, um, Bristow on the left midfield four. Now this will be interesting. Who I'm going to choose? I think it has to be. It has to be Jay Turner Cook. I honestly think Logan Chalmers is just. I, I thought he was lazy yesterday, in my opinion. I didn't think he was really in the game, in my opinion. I, th I thought he was crap. So that is just my opinion. Um, midfield, I'll, I will always say this Chris Murray. I, I think Murray is quality. He is quality. Um, I think Murray with. Lee O'Connor, or if Trammy are going to play five in the midfield, that would probably be Regan Hendry. I don't mind Hendry, I think he's a good player. On the left midfield, there, I'll probably say Josh Hawks. Um, I thought Josh Hawks played really well yesterday, obviously, to get, I think it was, he got the assist for the goal yesterday, which was fantastic. Um, so my strikers are going to be, I'm going to have to say Saunders because Hemmings is injured. I, I think Mumbongo is absolutely woeful. So I really wouldn't start him. I, I don't even think he's that good. So I'll probably say Jake Burton. Hopefully Jake Burton nearly got a goal yesterday against Crawley. So if he can get one against um Hypo, that'd be fantastic for him. Obviously, for his confidence, which would be fantastic. Um, other than that, I think Timble could have had a hat trick yesterday. He could have had a hat trick. Obviously, one of his goals were offside yesterday in the first half, and then obviously he hit the bar against Crawley, and then he scored the goal, which was onside. So that is fantastic for him. But yeah, obviously, for him to get a goal is fantastic. So, I'm saying my score prediction. I'm going to say a 2 0 win for Tramway Rivers. Goal scorers Josh Hawks and Jordan Timball. If it's going to be 2 1, I'm going to say Connor Jennings. But I think if Connor Jennings does score, I think the fans will clap him because he was a legend at Tramway. And the thing is, I don't get with F our fans. If if a legend the likes of Norwood or um, Jennings came, they they always boom. I don't get it why they're a legend. They got us to where we want to be in League One, out of the out of uh, National League. Fantastic. They are leaders. They are legends. So if if they score, I will probably clap them because as long as we're winning, that's only if we're winning. Obvious. But yeah, I think if we are winning about two or three nil, I'll probably clap them if they did score because the quality plays. So that is my thoughts and my opinions on that. So if you guys want to be in the video on Saturday, just come to see me and I'll see what I can do. And then hopefully we can get another one, which would be fantastic. So come on, you boys, up the right super army. And please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in a bit. Up the right super right army. Come on, you boys. I like Duncan's YouTube channel, it's brilliant.